Hey everyone, thanks for coming by the Head First Fishing Channel. We've got a really, really awesome day planned today. First, I want you to come down here and meet my new Australian friend, Mr. Craig. Follow me. It's a beautiful day in Madeira Beach. Mr. Craig, oh, wait a second. What's that on the side of your hat? Oh, wait. He says, I'm no Aussie. Oh, well, I'm no Aussie. And he's got a, a British flag on the side of exactly. his hat. Hey, man. How are you Good doing, John? You. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome. I'm the only Australian that's never been to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone thinks I sound Australian, well, it's an East London accent. There you go. There, there you go. go. Clear the, well, clear the, clear the mud. Okay. Anyway, uh, this uh, kind gentleman here, he's been, uh, been commenting on YouTube videos for Head First Fishing for a while. and. We kind of talked back and forth. We met up one day yeah. down at John's Pass and had a few beers and a burger. And we decided, man, we need to go fishing. We need to go diving. And uh, Mr. Craig here is a great fisherman. He's got a beautiful boat. He's kind enough to take us out on today. And uh, he's a diver. And so we're going to get some really awesome video. We're going to show you a few different things about offshore fishing, about bottom fishing. And generally, we're just going to have fun today. So I'm excited. Let's and uh, thank you again Let's see for, what happens, for having eh? us we'll out here fun. today. All right. Let's go. It's going to be warm. So first thing on the agenda today, we're going to run out to approximately 65 feet of water and we're going to check out some ledges and uh, we're going to drop some base down so we can hook up on a few samples of fish and then uh, Craig's going to get in the water and get down there and show you what kind of structure is down there and the reef habitat that these fish are living on. We're gonna run out, how far is it about? Just under 20 miles. Just under 20 miles we're gonna run out. So uh, we'll go ahead and knock that one out first. to 65 feet of water. It's got a lot of humps, a couple of ledges, but going over marking some of this life down here, some of the live bottom. This Simrad unit is doing a great job of marking thick bottom reed, and there's a lot of life right there. A lot of stuff scattered around it here, but uh, it should be a variety of different species down there. There should be everything from hogfish to Red grouper, gag grouper, there'll be some scat grouper, trigger fish. Never know. Wouldn't doubt there's some big flounder down there. But uh, really, really nice looking area. We're gonna find the best looking stuff and we're gonna anchor up on it, drop some lines down, and then uh, we'll see what we can get on video. See, found the cup. Yeah. We start on this spot, this is good. Hang on, we're nearly there. I need my computer. I'm gonna get this Scuba 36, Scuba 36, this is head first fishing at the surface. You read me, over. <laughs> he is on the bottom. I got no tape to looking at me.
So one of the biggest keys to finding offshore fishing spots is finding good, hard, natural bottom. And that's what's also called live bottom. But basically you have the underlying rock right there at the surface where the sand is. And that's where the marine plants are gonna start growing. And that creates the habitat for all the fish. You've got a lot of little hiding places. You've got creases and crevices. You've got little ledges and undercuts. All that place is a great place for species like grouper and snapper to live. And you can see right here, you've got a really, really thick bottom reed, and that's telling you you're hitting hard objects down there. Lots of schools of fish down there. There's probably 20 different species of fish down there. So when you're offshore and you're looking for these spots, Let's say you're tooling along at 5, 10 miles per hour or however fast you can go with your particular unit. You're looking for that bottom line to change. And then the hot spot is going to be where you get that big fish reed popping off that hard bottom line. It's a mango. Nice mang. Not bad at all. That's about hey. a 15 incher there. Look at that guy. He's a good one. That's a good mang. Yeah, Glioni. Look at the eyes on that guy. <laughs> 